Avast, you landlubbers. Tis I, Captain Spatz, the most piratey pirate the Yum Kitchen's ever seen. <laughs> cool costume, Spatz. Aw, oh, thanks, Tracker. Hey, Spatz, that reminds me. In our cookbook, I think there's a pirate treasure map. What? A treasure map in this cookbook, lays. We're making a dish out of yummy plantains. Are you ready for a pirate adventure, young squad? Aye, aye, Captain Dan. This treasure map will lead us to the sweet and salty seas in our hunt for delicious food treasure. And it all starts with these. They're called plantains, also platanos. Well, plantains? Well, those look like bananas. You're right, Spats. They do look like bananas. And guess what? They're in the exact same family as bananas, just a different species. Mmm, I love plantains. Today, we're gonna use these nutritious fruits to make two different dishes, tostones and Maduros. Tostones and Maduros are dishes originally from parts of Central America and the Caribbean. So come on, sailors. Today you can call me Captain Dan. <laughs> but first, we have to wash our hands. Take it away, Captain Spatz and Captain Tracker. There's germs all over your hands that you can't even see. So scrub them once and scrub them twice and scrub them until they're clean. Hey, you made the yemo meter go to the next level just by washing your hands. Mm. And now, Let's get this crew ready to sail. Whoa, a treasure chest. We're gonna make our own treasure today. They're called tostones. These green plantains will make a salty, crunchy snack that'll go really nice with our soft, sweet maduros. Captain Spatz gathered his crew. The plantain pirates were full of youth. They set sail on the salty seas. Tostones are what their tummies need. So, you plantains think you got what it takes to join me, crew? Well, we'll find out if you're tough enough to sail these rough seas. We'll start by peeling the green plantain. Now, because they're extra tough and extra thick, you might need a grown-up to help you with this and use a knife. Have them cut one end off, and then the other end, and then slice it from top to bottom. Now here's where you can get involved. Use your thumbs and just peel that thick skin off, just like this. Woo! Now, we're gonna slice this into treasure-sized pieces. You want these to be pretty thick because, secret, we're gonna smash them later. Life outside the pantry is tougher than you're used to, lads. So I wanna see you put your peels into it. Clean like you've never cleaned before. We gotta keep this ship ship shape. Yo ho, plantains ho, plantains swab the deck. In order to be treasure, our tostones need to be shiny, just like gold. So ask a grown up to heat up some oil in a large pot. Then, very carefully, add your plantains to the oil. That sound means the oil is working. Ooh. Make sure you've got enough oil to just cover the plantains. Turn them over once or twice while they're cooking to make sure they cook evenly. Ooh, the heat is turning them golden. That's right, Tracker. And the heat is doing one more important thing. It's making them nice and soft, which means it's time to remove them from the oil and let them cool down a little bit before we get to our next step. Perfect. Wow. Now this is my favorite part. It's time to smash them. Let's use a tostonera. Whoa, that's a tostones press made from wood. You can also use whatever flat surface you have handy. Sometimes I just take the end of a can of beans and smash them. Take your plantain pieces, put them in, and smash them nice and flat, and then put them back on your tray. Three, two, one. Oh. Now. We just put the smashed plantains back in the oil until they're golden brown. Oh, that sizzle means it's working. Use your tongs to move them around so they cook evenly. All right, I think these gold coins are almost ready. You can tell when they start to get golden brown right around the edge, just like this. Yum, 
My treasure's ready to be drained. Let's get him out of the pot. Yum. Bidar. Tostones. Our treasure chest is almost done. Hey, Tracker, can you help us out and sprinkle some salt on these? Si, la sal. And look, we sent the Yumometer to the next level by making our tostones. Batten down the hatches, Yum Squad. We have more treasure to find. Yo-ho, plantains oh, plantain sail the seas. Woohoo! Good news, guys. There's an island. Ah, and we're really close. Now they sailed where the map told them to go to find a treasure called Maduro's. Ah, uh, no worries, guys. I've seen storms twice this bad. <laughs> now it's time to make our Maduro's. The difference between Maduro's and Tostones is the age of the plantain. Come down here and I'll show you. Remember when we made our Tostones? I said they were young, and you can tell because they're green and kind of hard. As plantains get older, they get darker and sweeter. This one is perfect for Amaduros. Just like with the Tostones, ask a grown-up to help you here. Cut off the ends, and then slice them from top to bottom. Ooh. Peel that plantain. Now, we've got to cut these into treasure-sized bites. I like to cut them on an angle, like this. Just like that. Huh. We've got some hot oil here in Blackbeard's pan. Use just enough to come about halfway up the plantain slices. Have a grown-up cook them for about two minutes on each side. We're looking for them just to get a little bit brown first. Whoa, did you see that, Yum Squad? The heat from the pan changed the plantains to golden brown. They smell delicioso. That's right, Tracker. Now, we're gonna turn the heat down and keep these cooking until they become a deep, dark, golden brown. What happens here is called caramelization. Uh, caramel what now? Caramelization is when all the starch in the plantain transforms into sugar. Wow. These smell so good and they look great. Ah, now that's treasure worth burying in my tummy. <laughs> Put the cooked plantains on a tray with some extra paper towels to blot away any extra oil. Before they dry too quickly, sprinkle the Maduros with a little salt. Yum. And look at that. Making our Maduros sent the Yummo Meter to the next level. Hey, great work, crew. Si, buen trabajo. Maduros. Yeah! Their treasure was a sight to behold. Tostones and Maduros glowed like gold. This pirate crew could finally rejoice. Uh, Captain Dan, what's up with your voice? <laughs> <laughs> I just get so excited for a pirate adventure! <laughs> and I couldn't have asked for a better crew. But you know what we say, a dish is never done until someone says yum. Hey, let's show this treasure to the Yum Squad and see what they think. All righty, mateys. Hi, Kingston. Hi, Hallie. Hi, Spat. <laughs> Which flavor do you savor? Sweet, salty, crunchy, soft? Who wants to try some soft and sweet Maduros and toasty Tostones treasure? Me! Yay! Why don't you both try the Tostones first? I like the salt. Oh, that's good. Kingston, how do you feel about the crunch and the salt? As the you can donuts? tell, I actually really like it. I'm not expecting this, but the tostones, mm -hmm. it tastes like potato. I tried to cut it in half to see what it would look like, yeah. and it kind of looked like the same thing as this. You know what? That's because it is. Isn't that interesting? Did you try the Maduros? Hey, Spots, hmm? I like the Tostores better. Ah, oh, why? I think I like it better because it's crispy. Very cool. Well, there you have it. Kingston, Hallie, let's hear your best pirate. Arr! 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 
Great work, Yum Squad. You went on a snack adventure to turn a simple ingredient into two amazing treasures. Plantains. Look, the Yum Squad tried our dish and we completed the yum meter Arr! You sailed the sweet and salty seas to make plantains two ways. Now you're all set to make your own flavorful Tostones and Maduro's treasure. Find someone you care about and make treasure with them because food tastes better when you make it together. Gracias for having me join your kitchen crew today, Captain Dan. Join us next time for another tasty class where we are always cooking up some fun and dishing out the yum. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you soon. You can find even more learning videos and games in Noggin. Little Kids, Big Learning.